there is apparently no low to low for Fox News propagandist Tucker Carlson, who is now issuing a delusional defense of George Anthony Kitara DeVolder Santos. You might know him as just George Santos, the lying Republican congressman who lied about everything. Tucker Carlson has found a way to defend him. We are going to look at a clip. This is really a clinic in disinformation. And um, Tucker Carlson starts by talking about Joe Biden, but it morphs into a defend of defense of George Santos. And it is fascinating to see. See if you can pick out the rhetorical tools that Tucker uses here. I'm going to try to keep a, a list of them and then we will discuss. So we haven't watched a ton of cable news recently, but we assumed with mass layoffs underway across the US economy. By the way, this we thing is funny. You're talking about yourself, Tucker. Economy an egg shortage, crumbling cities, the prospect of a third world war looming on the near horizon. Right. We assumed we knew what the other channels would be covering because there are an awful lot of threats out there. What we didn't know until we tuned into MSNBC and CNN the other day was that all of those threats go by a single name. And that name is Mr. George Santos, <laughs> George Santos. Weeks into his new job as a freshman member of Congress and just months from his previous life of near total anonymity, right. George Santos has somehow transformed into the single most dangerous and historically significant figure on the global stage today. So we have here already two tools that are used. We have what about ism. And we have um, you could call it reductio ad absurdum. You could call it straw manning. Uh, so so the what about ism is Tucker Carlson shifting from a discussion about Biden to one about how George Santos has been treated, which are actually two completely different things, no matter what Tucker tries to tell you. And then the sort of straw manning is the idea that Democrats are telling you Santos is the most dangerous guy in the world. Democrats aren't telling you Santos is the most dangerous guy in the world. They're saying he's laughably dishonest and has no place in the House of Representatives, which is true. George Santos is like 9-11 in human form. Nothing will ever be the same now that George Santos is here. You will never forget the moment you first saw George Santos. Where were you when George Santos was elected? It's a story you will tell your grandchildren. Watch. On Capitol Hill, this is George Santos's reality. It seems almost every day there are new questions about the freshman congressman's past, some stretching back more than a decade. Can you keep up with all the Santos lies and controversies? He is now out-trumping Trump in terms of flooding the zone with excrement. Not just saying that he played volleyball, but he had a scholarship, that he slayed teams from Harvard and Yale. A perfect portrayal of self-loathing that he clearly is so disgusted with himself and so disgusted with the life that he's led, a life of lies, a life of fables. People didn't decide because they thought he was somebody totally, totally different. It was a lie and a fraudulent election. He has to resign. Not a volleyball champion, and he doesn't appear to be a champion of the people either. <laughs> the voters did not elect you, Mr. Santos. They elected a version of you invented by your imagination. Sadly, George Santos represents so much that is wrong today. Lies, denial, and the death of shame. It was a stolen election. It was a stolen election. You heard Adam Kinzinger say it and CNN filled in the blanks. There's false equivalency, which is also another rhetorical tool, which is that the left is saying Santos stole an election in the same way that Trump is saying that Biden stole an election. And of course, the two things could not be more different. So there's false equivalency. This is really a clinic in logical fallacies. It's not just that George Santos claimed that he once played volleyball in college, played volleyball in college. It's worse than that, indescribably worse. George Santos told other people out loud, and CNN can exclusively confirm this, that he had a volleyball scholarship. All right, you get the point. We're not going to do the full four and a half minutes of this. Tucker Carlson has found a way to come to George Santos's defense as someone who is just now a target of the latest woke mob. I saw a really good comment on Reddit about this, and what that comment said was, Hopefully, 100 years from now, if the U.S. survives the next 100 years, this sort of stuff, this era will be seen as the golden age of ignorance and school kids will hear about the things that were said and believed 
Uh, the military is really in control right now. Obama's in control. George Santos is actually a fine person to be a member of the House of Rep. All this stuff. Kids will look back at 2023 and they will say, how did humans believe that stuff back then? It will be sort of like when we say, how did they think at one point that leeches cured all sorts of different medical conditions? We say that's so silly. How could anybody think that? Hopefully in the future, people will learn about this era and they will say, wow, what a stupid era, really the golden age of, of, of ignorance there. And this is really a good test for how far will they go? Is there nothing they won't defend if it has an R next to its name and if the left doesn't like it? We saw they went for Trump. Now, even with George Santos, they're finding a way to defend him. It is of how far will this go sort of situation. And sadly, I don't think we want to know the answer because they will go very, very far. We will have all of these clips that I played for you on both our Instagram and our uh, YouTube accounts. Find us on Instagram at David Pakman Show. Find us on YouTube at youtube.com slash the David Pakman Show. As many people know, I'm a white ale type of guy when it comes to beer. And even for those of us who drink responsibly like me, sometimes you still feel it the next day and it can slow you down, especially when you start to get up there in the years like me. Check out our sponsor Z Biotics, which is a probiotic drink that breaks down the byproduct of alcohol responsible for those rough mornings after drinking. All you do is drink a tiny bottle of Z Biotics before you have alcohol. Next day, you'll feel refreshed and ready to go. The way it works is when you drink, a toxic byproduct builds up in your gut, and that's what causes you to feel bad the next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break down that byproduct, and Zbiotics stands by their product 100%. If it doesn't work for you, you get all your money back, no questions asked. Remember, we're talking about drinking responsibly here. I can't more highly prioritize getting a good night's sleep. Zbiotics is for responsible drinkers who just want to get the most out of the next day. Go to zbiotics.com slash Pacman. Get 15% off your first order with the code Pacman. The link is down below.